We are at Euro Satori 2018, the largest defense trade show in the world. Today we're on the French Ministry of Armed Forces booth. It's very large and we're focusing on the latest innovations with the French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, and the French Army. for the French procurement agency, which is called DGA, and I'm the technical manager of the Jaguar and Griffin vehicles. You are here about, uh, in front of uh, two of the Jaguar prototypes. That is the first time they are shown in the Euro Satellite exhibition. It's a cavalry vehicle. Uh, he's going to replace the AMX 10RC, the ERC 90, and the VAB HOT. The missions of the vehicle are reconnaissance and combat, so that uh, it's a compact vehicle with uh, high mobility capabilities and many uh, vision and sight systems and uh, lots of armaments. There is many different types of sensors on the vehicle. For example, uh, we have uh, many sight systems to, to give the, the crew uh, a 360 degrees observation capabilities near from the vehicle and a little bit far away with other sensors. We have also uh, laser warning devices. We have uh, acoustic detectors and uh, missile detectors. This vehicle is part of the Scorpion program so that he is able to the collaborative combat, the Scorpion collaborative combat. Uh, the principles are to share all the information and all the detections of threats uh, inside the vehicle and with other vehicles. About the weapon systems in the, in the vehicle, we have three, three kinds of weapon. The main armament is the 14mm case telescope cannon uh, on the front of the turret. The second weapon is a 7.62 machine gun on the top of the turret. And the third armament is the middle range missile the MMP missile. About the range of the vehicle, this vehicle is able to, to, to drive height 100 kilometers uh, at a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The French Defense Procurement Agency has ordered 300 uh, vehicles, Jaguars. The first will be delivered at the end of 2020 and uh, 150 vehicles will be delivered before 2025. The Jaguar has uh, many functions, many uh, firepower and many uh, sensors and with high mobility performances, but it remains a compact vehicle that can be uh, air transportable in an A400M plane. Good morning, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Good morning. Uh, I am a technical manager uh, on the, the Serval program, uh, the, next, uh, the next vehicle for the French Army. Serval will equip all the components of the French Army with armored vehicles for all types of operations. Serval is a 4-4 armored vehicle which will carry up uh, to uh, 10 felin equipped soldiers. Um, together with Vetronix and CKS, uh, it will be equipped uh, with uh, other standard equipment common to Scorpion vehicles. In particular, uh, a remote uh, weapon turret equipped with uh, 7.62 mm uh, or a, a machine gun. Serval is equipped uh, with a threat detector. Uh, the main advantage of Serval are uh, its uh, production capability, uh, notably by uh, Air uh, 400M, uh, the capabilities uh, in mobility, the crew protection, 
and the modularity of version. Last February, the Defense Procurement Agency delivered uh, the procurement order for the acquisition of light VBMR vehicle, known as Serval, uh, for a consortium composed of Nexter System and Texelis. The first deliveries are planned for early uh, 2022. The Scorpion program includes a fleet uh, of 978 servals. This scale model features the next generation camouflage for the French army. This geometric camouflage is set to replace the Centre Europe camouflage on all vehicles of the Scorpion program. So I'm Major Laurent from STAT. I am in charge of testing the vehicles for the French army and I will present you the VT4. This vehicle will be the successor of the well-known P4 acquired in the 80s. So 4,380 vehicles are foreseen for the three armed forces, the fuel supply service and the joint ammunition service. The VT4 will enable fast movement of combatants, whether they are equipped with their combat system or not. As is it an unprotected vehicle, it will be deployed on national territory and in stabilized operation theaters. It will provide rapid intervention capabilities and security missions, such as Sentinel. Moreover, its communication and information assets enable it to be integrated within a tactical force. The vehicle uh, which is presented here, it's a standard two vehicle, which is equipped with uh, its window protection kits uh, weapons support stands, communications, information and geolocalization assets. This vehicle is air transportable. The advantage of this vehicle is security thanks to the numerous driving aid devices, the flexibility through the integration of a large range of equipment and the fleet support in the industrial network in order to ensure high availability on the national territory. I'm Pascal Point from Helicopter Avionics Thales, in charge of HMSD and Sensor. This model is a future NH90 uh, Special Forces nose, uh, on which you can say, see the two Safran uh, sensor, IR sensor. On this place here, both of sides, a large field of view sensor for piloting, full high definition sensor and stereo, and under an observation floor, dedicated to the mission. So the other feature is now how to display these uh, images in front of pilot eyes. So uh, we use Thales HMSD top uh, with a new version, a digital display version, fully compatible with high definition, high level of symbology, conformal symbology, meaning we are able to deliver the image at the right place in the landscape. We provide with IR the same natural image for piloting as with night vision goggles, and we are able to switch from night vision goggles, IR def high definition uh, images, and conformal symbology. Uh, I am uh, working for the DGA. Uh, I'm a system architect. So here is uh, the project called Furious. Um, it's a project um, based on, on robotics. And the aim of this project is to see uh, the help that we can bring, that you can have with robots for a uh, soldier. Um, the, the project is based on a section of a fight. Actually, we have three robots, like, like, like I said just before. Uh, we have a big one is to carry, uh, to carry heavy, heavy loads and uh, to see how we can help uh, the soldier when they have a, a lot of materials uh, to carry. A second one is to manipulate uh, some things like to open a door. Uh, and the third one is, is used for observation. The project is uh, just at the beginning for now. Uh, it starts uh, at the end of 2017, uh, so we're just starting it. Uh, and it should, um, it should last uh, during four, four years. Uh, 
the fire is designed on the requirement from uh, for French Force Special and the Airborne Brigade, and is specially designed to these uh, two forces. This main advantage is a very compact vehicle because it, ne it needs to be air transportable, air droppable, and uh, transportable by uh, sling. For the transportable, it can be transported as a suit of NH-90 helicopter. The total mass is around two tons. The payload is around 422 kilos. The height speed is 60 kilometers per hour. It can also pull trailers, which have a 300 kilo payload. And we can also pull uh, uh, 130 uh, mortar for the brig Brigade Airborne. There is no electronic device on this vehicle, or only mechanical, and it, it uh, provides to this vehicle uh, a very robust and very reliable uh, in uh, the use of this vehicle. The, the mission of the Fardier is a uh, carry-on mission after uh, insertion by airplane. The crew is uh, two person plus one at the rear. The vehicle is also armed with two uh, Max 58.